video, we're going to solve linear equations using Cramer's rule. We're going to look at Cramer's rule when we're dealing with two equations and two unknown variables, such as x and y. So to solve for the unknown variable x, we're going to do the following equation. And to solve for the unknown variable y, we're going to do a similar type equation where this A double bar is the determinant of the coefficient matrix and this A subscript X is a determinant of the coefficient matrix after replacing the first column with the column vector of constants and then A subscript Y is the determinant of the coefficient matrix after replacing the second column with the column vector of constants. So this will make sense here in just a moment. So we want to solve for variable Q and P. So setting up this system of equations in matrix form. Matrix A will be the coefficient matrix. Coefficient on Q here is 1. Coefficient on the P term is 2. In the bottom row, the coefficient on Q is 1. And the coefficient on the P term is minus 2. So that's our coefficient matrix. And then we have the matrix of the variables, Q and P. And then we have our column vector of constants, 70 and minus 10. So the first thing we're going to do, you saw in the formula, we need to get the determinant of A. So the determinant of A is going to be 1 multiplied by negative 2 minus 2 times 1. And that is just negative 4. And now we want to get the determinant. We're solving for Q. We're going to replace the first column, the 1s, with the column here of constants. So 1, 1 gets replaced with 70 and minus 10. And then we simply take the determinant of that, and we get minus 120. So the variable Q then, following our formula, is going to be minus 120 over minus 4, or 30. And in terms of the variable price, we're going to replace this second column of the coefficient matrix with the constants. And now we'll take the determinant of this A subscript P matrix, which is 1 minus 10 minus 70 times 1, or minus 80. Therefore, the variable P is going to be given as minus 80 divided by minus 4, or 20. Okay, that's it. Hope you found this video helpful.